Hi guys, of the many surprises and googlies which the COVID-19 has thrown away, what I'm going to talk about now, the concept of happy hypoxia and pulse oximeters and what is oxygen saturation and why it is important for you to know about it will be of extreme value. Let's go back to when this all started. In the end of March, when still ventilation was the concept for COVID-19, in Sao Paulo, Brazil, there was an ICU center headed by this respiratory physician Elnara Negri. That that all the patients who were on ventilator were not surviving beyond 48 hours. She was extremely surprised because as a respiratory physician, she had put everybody on acute respiratory distress syndrome before COVID-19 on ventilators and they had done well. So in her mind, she knew that something was wrong. But at that point of time, she couldn't figure out what had gone wrong. Now let us stop this story for a moment and get to understand what hypoxia is. So all of you know that we need oxygen to breathe. Why we need oxygen to breathe is each and every cell which we are made of uses oxygen as a currency to produce energy. So basically if there is no oxygenation, energy production in the cell will not happen. And this lack of oxygen will cause an imbalance in the oxygen and the sodium metabolism causing water to accumulate inside your cell and if this is not corrected then your cell will continue to swell and then burst or destroy itself through a process called apoptosis this is already pre-programmed and this is why hypoxia or low oxygen is bad for us so how does the brain generally tackle hypoxia just imagine you're reading a book and sometimes the book is so nice that you're concentrating on what's happening we all know that after a point we don't have to remember to breathe we just continue breathing it becomes an involuntary activity we don't have to will it but then at one point of time we suddenly take a deep breath you know why we do it we do it because our oxygen levels in our cells goes lower when that goes lower generally what happens is our carbon dioxide increases and this small increase in carbon dioxide alerts the brain saying that hey oxygen is low and the brain whips our lung and our lung takes a deep breath we immediately wake up take a deep breath and then we feel okay that is how our brain and our respiratory system normally restore hypoxia now let's get back to Sao Paulo Brazil Dr. Negri really frustrated with the results of her patients on ventilators went back to her OP and there she saw a patient sitting and playing with her phone very comfortable she noticed that her fingers were blue on examination the patient was COVID positive but because her fingers were blue she started the patient on an anticoagulant called heparin and not only did the patient's blueness or cyanosis point to learn guys whenever there is low oxygen supply to the tips of your fingers or tips of your bodies they turn blue which means that there is not enough oxygen reaching it which means hypoxia the anticoagulants which were started not only treated her cyanosis but also treated her respiratory distress and she got well and so dr negri alerted her team and they started a set of 27 patients seven of them were on ventilators on anticoagulants and 24 of them survived so this is where the concept of early hypoxia where patients have low oxygen levels but they are not able to sense it came into the picture now let's talk about the pulse oximeter just a minute this is your finger pulse oximeter from the side. You put your finger in with the nail upwards. Turn it on by putting the switch on off button. The one above the SpO2 is the one you have to watch. It should not go below 95. PR is your pulse rate. The PI percentage which is on top of your pulse rate is your pulse intensity. The PI percentage or the pulse intensity which you see as 13.8 percentage is the strength of your pulse on the sensor. It should be between 2 to 20 on most good pulse oximeters for you to get an accurate reading. There you go. You know your pulse oximeter now. Now coming to the most important question of whether you need a pulse oximeter. If you have high risk individuals at home, elderly grandparents, people with asthma or other breathing disorders, please get a pulse oximeter. Oxygen saturation could be the first thing you can note. And if you're somebody who has no other lung issues, your oxygen saturation can be up to 95. Below that, I would suggest to call your physician. If you're somebody who has a lung issue pre-existing, like you have asthma or COPD or you're a smoker, check a baseline lung value call your respiratory physician tell him that this is my baseline because for some of you even 95 could be the baseline and ask him which is the number you should be alarmed at and call him guys 
And remember, even if your saturation is low and even if you're COVID positive, 95% and more are being successfully treated by anticoagulants and oxygen. Just make sure you get your information from valid sources. And if you like this video, subscribe to my channel so that you get regular updates like this. See you guys. Bye-bye.